Namaste, I am Dr. Rakesh Jalali. I am the medical director of the Apollo Proton Cancer Center. I am also a neuro-oncologist and have devoted more than 25 years of my career exclusively to the management of brain tumors and also tumors of the central nervous system. Brain tumors in general are relatively small in number. They constitute only 1 to 3 percent of all the tumors. But they are very interesting and challenging because they can affect all ages. We can see them right from infants to children to adolescents to young adults to middle age to the old and to the very old. In fact, in childhood, in children, they are the commonest cancers that we see. However, in children or childhood brain tumors, 65 to 80 to 85 percent of them can be completely cured if they are managed well as per the international standards with a combination of multiple therapies or multiple treatment teams taking care of these patients. In adults also, one of the myths is whenever people think about brain tumors, they have a very negative attitude. They think that, okay, nothing can be done. It is kind of end of the life, both in the society, in the patients, in the normal, uh, you know, lay people, and also sometimes even to the doctors, they may not know. But that is not correct. This is a myth. 50 to 60 percent of the brain tumors can be actually totally benign. Benign means they grow very slowly. They may not cause any symptoms also, or if they cause symptoms, it is because of the pressure in the brain or close to a critical structure, but they do not have the ability like a cancerous form, which can go to other parts of the body and the cure rates in these benign tumors are very high. The common benign tumors in brain are meningiomas, pituitary adenomas, acoustic neuromas, craniopharyngiomas, etc., etc., which can arise in different parts of the brain. However, because they arise in particular part of the brain, even if they are benign, they can affect the vision, they can cause headache, they can involve some of the cranial nerves and can cause some symptoms to the brain, to the patient. Surgery is the treatment of choice and there has been a lot of advancement in surgery. People also have this myth about surgery. They think you open the brain and I mean it will be a catastrophe. They may not even want to go for surgery. Nowadays, surgeries have become so much sophisticated, so much safer. There is hardly any mortality after surgery and the success rate is very high. The modern surgical, neurosurgical modalities include very elegant, very sophisticated neurosurgical suites where we do neuromonitoring during the operation. Sometimes the patients can be even awake without any pain such that we can monitor their function while the tumor is being removed by the neurosurgeon. There are different types of MRI techniques and neuromonitoring techniques using of neurophysiological activities which will again guide the neurosurgeons accurately where to place the incision, where to remove the tumor. There are other dyes also which we use such that the surgery becomes much more safer and already we are seeing a remarkable result after neurosurgery. Sometimes the surgeon is not able to remove completely because they want to preserve the function of a particular neurological structure in the brain. Either we can observe them or sometimes we give them radiation. Radiation has also evolved significantly over a period of time. Proton beam therapy in particular, the modern proton therapy using intensity modulator proton therapy, what we call IMPT, which we have here in Apollo Proton Cancer Center in Chennai, which is still the only such center in the India and entire South Asia and Middle East. We have treated a large number of hundreds of very difficult, challenging brain tumors with proton therapy with remarkable success. And particularly the childhood brain tumors and the benign tumors, we can treat them very well without causing any damage to the normal structures such that they can retain the function to a large degree. Almost no side effects practically with this therapy. The malignant brain tumors are the ones which are still very difficult. The high-grade gliomas, the glioblastoma, 
that work and research is ongoing. Uh, there have been lot of insights with the introduction of different molecular therapies, including different types of chemotherapy. We are also now in the revolution of molecular genetics, where we profile these tumors in the uh, in, in uh, such that we can understand their mutations, we can understand their genetics and lot of trials are research is being done throughout the world including in our center how to treat these patients in a personalized manner. So there are some successes in the malignant brain tumors also over a period of time uh, which are significantly better than what was in the past. Lastly we these patients also need some careful integration within the medical teams it has to be a multidisciplinary effort with the help of a neuro oncologist the radiation and the medical oncologist the neurosurgeons the neuroimaging neuropathologists basic scientists rehabilitation teams speech therapists physiotherapists occupational therapists dietitian neuropsychologist everyone will come together like we have in our neuro-oncology cancer management team here in Apollo Proton Cancer Center, APCC Chennai, where a holistic, comprehensive care is given to a brain tumor patient, looking at both improving their cure and survival, but also ensuring their quality of cure and quality of survivorship. And already we are witnessing much better improved outcomes in otherwise uh, thought to be very difficult tumors. So while these brain tumors may be small in numbers, but they pose unique challenges, however the modern therapy can make a big impact in improving their outcomes.